Well, the important work that the Select Committee is going to do is to look at what the effects of Brexit are going to be and to look at what the final outcome of Brexit should be for Gibraltar in principle terms. The government is doing the detailed work and is leading the negotiations as a government with the United Kingdom. Those are really negotiations about negotiations. The outcome of those negotiations is what we're trying to shape as a government and the Select Committee work will be to understand where we as a parliament and therefore the whole of Gibraltar would like to be and what we'd like to see come out of those negotiations. The first meeting was held in camera. Actually, it was more about structure and about how the committee will take evidence in future. But my instinct is that this committee should, as often as possible, meet in the open so that people can enjoy the benefit of understanding what the work of the committee is. There will be confidential briefings now offered on a monthly basis by the Deputy Chief Minister, who's the Minister for Europe and for Brexit, to the members of the Select Committee. That's uh, Mr. Fetum, Mrs. Hassan Naon, and Mr. Hammond about what the ongoing negotiations for the government are and other issues which are relevant to the committee and there'll be other work that we'll be announcing that the committee will be doing. Uh, either the government and the opposition within the context of the select committee work together in devising and also executing a roadmap as to how we deal with Brexit or the government simply utilizes the select committee in order to receive advice from, uh, uh, from us, our views, and confidentially imparts information to the opposition. And look, I'm not going to criticise that. My preference is the first. It's positive engagement rather than the more passive engagement that the second offers. But in a sense, it's for the government to really determine what type of involvement the government wants from the opposition. Whatever it is... Uh, I can assure the people of Gibraltar that the opposition is not going to be found wanting at this moment in time, that we are not going to be playing politics on what is a critical issue uh, for Gibraltar, that yes, uh, if the government does something that we do not agree with and we feel that we should be commenting upon in public, well, that's our duty but I think that the, 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 the public of Gibraltar can trust us that we will always do the right thing and that we're seeking to do the right thing by them and by Gibraltar.